Gonna go over drop sets today, something that I love doing in my training sessions and it's something you should definitely try out. It's just such a wicked way of bringing intensity to your training. So what we're gonna do is just talk a little bit about what they are, why we do them, and show you some of my favorites. So, drop sets. We're kind of basically continuing exercise whilst pushing past fatigue. So normally, when you're training, your muscles are slowing down, you're getting tired, you're like, oh, I've got no strength left, and we give up. Well, we're gonna trick the muscle here and go, ha ha, no, we can get more out of you, and that's where a beautiful technique of drop sets comes in. Because then what we're doing when we're actually doing drop sets is we're going to hit on those deep muscle fibers there. It's going to create such a high level of intensity that it's fantastic for muscle growth. So, here's just a few of my favorite ways to do some drop sets that you should definitely try out. So the first one I like to do is strip sets. So you could do this say on the squat rack, barbell squats, and you literally would do your set, hit the failure, drop the weight, squat again, hit the failure, drop the weight. It's really good to do this sort of one if you've got a training partner, because you're just gonna save some time with stripping the weight off the rack, also you've got a spotter as well. Uh, and obviously if you're doing it on your own, you're kinda getting a cheeky little rest there when you set changing the weight. So, that's why I like to, when I'm training on my own, do up the stack because it's a lot more quicker and you can actually still train and catch the muscle whilst it's fatigued to do your second set. And a good one to do it on is actually leg extension. So I'm not going heavy today because I have trained my legs and they are pretty damn sore. So, what we do, just pretend this is really heavy. It's up to you on the rep ranges, 6 to 10, 10 to 12, but you can look at the hit your failure by the time you get to the last rep. Boom, smash them out. This is my failure one. <laughs> Boom! Okay, and then you can quickly change the weight down and hit for your second set. Boom, round two, off we go. So your muscles are sore, they've had less recovery time because you've literally just had to change the pin. Boom. Drop again one more time. So it's up to you how many drops, but I like to do three. The next sort of drop sets that I like to do are wide drop sets. So maybe I'll do something like six to 10 reps and then jump to 16 reps afterwards. Uh, but my personal favorite has got to be the 620 method, also known as halving. And all you're doing is you're going heavy, so you get the heaviest weight you can do at six reps and you're like, yeah, I've just got to pretend today because yeah, my muscles are killing me. Yeah. Do your six, you're hitting your failure, like I can't quite do it. Boom, hit them, drop the weight, straight to a nice light weight, you're looking at about 50% drop here and then you're going for 20 reps. I sometimes push for 25, 30 because I'm crazy and I'm like, wow, wow. And by the end of it, you're looking like absolutely crazy because you've got this lightweight and you're absolutely dying and burning. Okay? Oh, see, that's just hurting already. I chain my shoulders, so I'm pretty much like, yeah, dying a little bit on the inside right now. Okay, I'm not going to do them all. But you get the idea. Cool. So that's something I apply a lot as well. Woo! And then we're going to move on to the next one. So we also have power drops, they're pretty cool, so very similar to what I did on the leg extension, but you're just going six, six, six. So the thing is, the great thing about drop sets is there's just so many ways to vary it about. You've got things like, for example, you're ascending and descending drop sets, so maybe the weight kind of goes down whilst the rep range goes up. Okay, but something I actually really, really like actually is this one, and uh, it's the grip or stance change. So I'm gonna give you a little demo on a bicep curl. So you, this is cool to do actually on like a chest press. Go on the bench, barbell chest press, and you could go for a nice wide set, like that, boom. And then you're gonna go straight into your drop set of a narrow, like that, boom. And you could actually even make this a 620. Woo so you could go heavy, and then once you've done your six, yeah, you could drop the weight, go for your narrow, boom, smash them out, 2025, 20, boom, 2025, 20, boom. You ain't. So I'd always say, with drop sets, depending on which one you're doing, you don't really want to do any more than one drop, uh, one drop per session. You're going for very heavy, heavy drop sets, I'll stick to the one, but if you can, uh, 
playing about with the 620, you could get away with a few more than that. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed my little video guys on drop sets. I'm going to have a few more videos coming your way on training tips, so keep a look out. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, and you can also subscribe.